you watched my London vlog, I picked up a packet of Quality Street chocolates that I was going to redesign in a future video. Well, today is the day and I am redesigning the packaging for Quality Street. So it is my job as the designer to redesign this brand in a more festive and Christmassy style. So I actually think you can buy Quality Street all year round, but for me as a buyer, I only purchased this chocolate near Christmas and I do believe that it misses the Christmas style and the vibe. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to create a limited edition brand package for Quality Street. So at the moment, there is a lot of dead space on the front of the box and it's not really doing anything for me right now. We really want to give it that festive and Christmas feel to really help the buyer pick this product up to go and share it with their family at Christmas time. So we're gonna leave the main logo as it is because I'm not mad at it, it is actually quite a nice logo. And our main focus and attention is gonna be on the packaging and the box. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is dissect the box. So I'm gonna pick out the things that I like and the things that I dislike. So the things that I like are the logo, the purple color, and the shape of the box. The things that I dislike are the gradient, the layout on the box, and the imagery. Whilst we talk about boxes and packaging, this video is kindly sponsored by Envato Elements. So you probably know by now, they are my go-to place for mock-ups and fonts. Pretty much all of the mock-ups that I use are by Envato. So throughout this video and other videos, you will see the insane brand reveals that I do at the end and the mock-ups that I show. These are all Envato Elements. They do such an incredible job of bringing the brand to life through those realistic mock-ups. So if you wanna check them out, go and click the link in my description. So we are off to do some competitor analysis for this brand. So this brand's competitors are Heroes, Celebrations and Roses. And if we put them all by each other, you will notice how similar they all are. So they all include the large logo, a colored background, and then imagery of the chocolates. So the one that really grabs my attention the most and that I would pick up is the Celebrations. I honestly love that scattered look of all the chocolates as if they are celebrating celebrating like the confetti. So I did some research to see if any of these brands did like a limited edition Christmas packaging and none of them don't, which kind of blew my mind a little bit because surely the most sales come in December for these brands because people want to share chocolates with their families. Let me know as a consumer or buyer if you would pick up a brand more because it has a festive feel to it near Christmas time or if this doesn't sway you. So the aim for the packaging for this brand is to really give it that festive cozy Christmassy vibe and that's exactly what we're gonna do next so next is choosing our color palettes and the main background color of the box so because this is quality street we don't want to change the brand too much so we are going to stick with that dominant color of purple but we're going to make it festive so i've decided to go for a dark purple as the background we then got a lighter purple to contrast an orange to complement and then the cream to lighten so the orange color is really warm and is close to red which is a dominant color for christmas the cream is there to represent snow and then the purples are there to keep the brand consistent. So we've got our purple background. I'm now going to do the stage of putting the logo on first. So I'm doing this because I really want the illustrations and the Christmas designs to be placed around the logo, dragging your eyes to see exactly what the brand is. This is also placed nearer the top of the box, just in case any product on the shelf gets placed in front of our packaging. Hopefully you will still be able to see the brand. Next is where the magic and the festivity happens. So we're going to create a really friendly, cozy Christmas tree scene full of Christmas trees. So our first one and our main one is going to be placed underneath our main logo and in the center. Some baubles have been added to make it look a lot more festive and I really like how the tree is in white which represents the snow. So at the moment it does look a bit random and a bit misplaced and it does look like it is floating so let's give it a base that it can sit on so i've now added a base of snow to the floor and some lighter and darker shades of the purple to really give it that depth that we were missing so it now feels like it is placed there and not just floating in the air and it is now grounded with a base next i'm going to add in some more trees to surround our focus tree and to make up more of a scene this will create an enclosed and more cozy feeling around the packaging box so next 
I'm actually going to add in some more trees to create more of the depth. So these will be smaller and placed behind our original trees and I'm going to lower the opacity to 25%. This therefore looks like they are faded away in the distance and therefore creating that depth that was missing. Perfect! So the bottom is looking really good now. We've got a really cosy Christmas festive feel to the bottom but the top is now lacking what the bottom has. So I'm going to design some branches with some leaves on that are going to sit specifically around the primary logo to really draw your your eyes in there. So I've overlapped just one of the leaves onto the primary logo to match the bottom of the seam and the depth. One of them has just been overlapped to create that busy feeling of the bottom but we don't want to overcrowd it by overlapping too many things that you can't read the original logo. The last thing that I feel like is missing from this scene is the most obvious thing which is snow. This will make it more cozy, more Christmassy and really give it that festive vibe. As you can see throughout this package on the front of the box. The colour palette is spread in a really nice way. There isn't a build up of one specific colour palette in a specific place, making it really nice and easy to look at. So I actually had a really good idea to do three different boxes. So still keep the same colour palettes, but do three limited edition in the different colours. So we'll have the purple background, a lighter purple and the cream colour, which I think looks really, really nice. And it's nice to see them in a reversed colour palette. So we now have a really friendly, cozy and Christmassy scene on the front of the box. Next is to design the side of the box to match our illustration style, but still showcase the chocolates. So at the moment, the chocolates are designed on the sides of the box so you can see exactly what you're gonna get inside, which I actually like to look at as a buyer. So we're gonna keep this the same, but we're gonna design the chocolates in the illustration style to match the front of the box. So these have now been added to the side of the box and match the illustrative style on the front of the box. The Christmas trees also go into the design of the side of the box to make everything feel consistent and as if they are part of the original scene. We are now going to put the designs side by side and have a look at what has changed. So from the original box it was quite plain and no Christmas spirit added at all. We now have a beautiful Christmas festive friendly box which is a limited edition box for Quality Street and I'm not gonna lie I adore anything that is Christmassy so I would definitely pick this up. Let me know if you would pick this up based on the limited edition design or if you don't mind the original Quality Street package. So the last thing on my list is to create a mock-up and to see this design packaging on a real life box. So I'm gonna head over to Envato Elements to see what mock-ups they've got and really bring this brand to life. So Quality Street check out your limited edition Christmas packaging. So that was the design process of me redesigning the packaging for Quality Street, but with a festive feel for their limited edition packaging. Go and spread the love, spread the joy, spread the festivity in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I will see you at the next video.